Hello guys, in this video, let's send C2D messages from Visual Studio C Sharp. That means we will send messages from IoT app, that is from cloud to IoT device from Visual Studio C Sharp. So again, this is C2D communication. Generally, it is used to send notification to the device and we will view these messages in VS Code. And now let's first switch over to the Azure portal. So guys, we are in Azure portal and let's open our IoT hub and let's click on devices. So now we want to send message from this IoT hub that is one which I highlighted to this device. Okay. And now let's switch over to the Visual Studio. So guys, we are in Visual Studio and we are creating a new project. So let's select console app. Next. Let's give name to our project. So I will say cloud to device messaging demo. Next and create. And you can see our project is ready. Now the first thing, let's install the required NuGate package. So again, I will right click on this project. Manage NuGate packages. Browse and we need to install this package that is microsoft.azure.devices. So let's search that here it is. So let's click on this and I will say install accept and the NuGet package has been installed. So let's again go to the program.cs file again. Now to send messages from IoT app that is from cloud to device, we'll need connection string for our IoT app, right? So we'll say we are IoT hub connection string is equal to and let's go to the azure portal and let's retrieve it so here i will duplicate this tab so we are in our iot hub on the left hand side let's go down and here we can see shared access policies let's click on this service let's copy this primary connection string and let's again go to the visual studio let's paste it over here now we need to create service client so i'll say where service client is equal to i'll say service client and here you can see this service client is available because we have installed this NuGet package that is microsoft.azure.devices so I'll say service client dot I'll say create from connection string and to this let's provide the connection string we just copied. Now let's actually create string message which we will be sending from IoT app to the device. So I'll say where string message is equal to so I have already copied that message. So let me paste it over over here. So guys, this is a simple string message. Okay. And let's serialize it. So it's a where serialized message is equal to JSON convert dot serialize object to this. Let's provide this string. And now let's actually create that message which we will be sending to the device so i'll say where iot message is equal to here i'll say new message and to this i will say encoding dot utf8 dot get bytes and let's provide this serialized message over here now guys if i take my mouse to this message and if we check github examples and documentation see this message is available because we have installed this package that is microsoft.azure.devices and here we have installed it okay so let me close this and now 
let's actually send the message so i will say await service client dot send async and to this if you observe first thing we need to provide device id and then message so let's again go to the azure portal and let's retrieve device id so let me open it and let's copy this device id let's again go back to the visual studio let me paste it over here and we need to provide this iot message as well and one more thing i will say console dot read line so that our program execution continues okay so let me save our program and let's add a debugger on line number 19 now guys before we run this program let's open vs code and let's start retrieving or reading this message over there okay we we'll click on start and we'll say vs code let's open it so again guys we are in vs code and we are under explorer and at the bottom you can see this azure iot hub so i can already see the iot hub and devices under it so why this information is already populated for me so for that you simply need to click on these three dots and you need to set the iot hub connection string okay so you can easily get it from portal i, I will not repeat it okay now let's right click on this device and here i will say start receiving c2d message that means whatever messages are sent to this device from cloud we should be able to see those messages so we will be sending those messages from our visual studio and we will view this message in this vs code so let's click on this and here you can see it says start receiving c2d message for this device okay so let's again go back to our visual studio and now i will simply run our program and you can see the debugger has been hit that means message must have been sent from cloud to the device and let's cross check it in vs code and here you can see it says message received and this is exactly the same message which we sent from our c sharp code 